Hey guys, and welcome to episode 1 of Overviewing My LEGO Clone Army. So, this is a brand new series that I announced maybe around a week ago, and this is the first episode of the series, so in this series I will be overviewing all my clone troopers in my LEGO Clone Army, and for episode 1 we are going to be starting with the realistic phase 1 clone grunt. So, we are actually going to be starting with um, the episode 2 clones, and then moving through the years, like, through the Clone Wars, um, from phase 1 to phase 2, and then... At the very end, we will be finishing with the Phase 2 clones, but anyways, these videos will be divided into three main sections, so Section 1 will be, um, I'll just be talking about, like, the sets that this clone trooper appeared in. In Section 2, I'll be giving you guys a price guide, um, just for, like, how much these guys go for on Bricklink, according to, um, the average, um, from the last six months' sales. And then for Part 3, I'll be giving you guys how many I have of this clone trooper and how many I plan to get before I start buying them. So now let's get into part one of the video, which will be um, talking about these sets they appeared in. So um, I'm actually going to be mixing together the clone trooper with leg printing and then the clone trooper with, without leg printing. So um, in total, um, the one with leg printing and without leg printing, they appeared in five sets in total. So the one with leg printing actually only appeared in one set, being the Jedi and Clone Trooper Ladder Pack that came out in 2018, and then the ones without leg printing uh, came out in four sets, being the Clone Troopers vs. Droid Kids Battle Pack that came out in 2013, the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid that came out in 2013 as well, the Home and Spider Droid, and the Planet Series, uh, the Coruscant one that both came out in 2013 as well, so four sets with the ones without leg printing, and then one with, um, with leg printing, so I guess you guys can start to see how, um, how rare the, uh, the one with leg printing is, but that is section one. Now let's get into uh, section two, which is the price guide. So we are going to start with the one um, with printed legs. So, so according to Brooklyn, the coin trooper with printed legs goes for an average of twelve dollars US new and nine dollars US used, and then the one without printed legs goes for an average of ten dollars US new and then six dollars US used. So, um, pretty pricey uh, to be quite honest. Um, this guy is actually my favorite coin trooper um, in my army. It's probably my favorite clone trooper in general but that is section two so now let's get on to section three um so in, in section three i'll be going over how many i have of this clone trooper and how many i plan on getting before i stop buying them so i currently have 11 of these guys eight of them with leg printing and then three of them without leg printing so i plan on getting a um an entire um platoon of these guys so that would be 36 uh clone grunts and then four sergeants so basically how it works is in a platoon there are four squads and each squad has 10 clone troopers being 9 uh, clone grunts as well as 1 clone trooper sergeant will, which I will be covering next episode but, but I want to get 36 of these guys which would mean 9 per squad which would get you a grand total of 40 clone troopers including the sergeants. But anyways guys that concludes episode 1 of overviewing my lego clone army. I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Next episode we will be taking a look at the clone sergeant that is one that leads um, each of the 4 clone squads in a platoon but Anyways, guys, drop a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you all in the next one.